neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. And we're just about set to get this one underway. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32. Wake Forest, a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Carney gets around three on the half-pack draw. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on a corner or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. He scrambles. Decides to slide. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. And they push him out at the 23-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Hinton was the intended receiver on the play. That From the 21-yard line, it's third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete across the middle. What a play, and that is first and goal. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. He was able to just tip that one away, right out of the receiver's reach. It's the ninth play of the drive. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Hits him hard at the one. Carney gains about four yards there. Defense and their short yardage package. On the ground, up the middle. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-0. They'll bring him down at the 20. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's on the run. 
Brought down at the 29-yard line. It's second and one. Ball on the 29-yard line. Nice run there. Decent gain there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good play here. Getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Nice run up the middle. Moss picks up five with the carry. That'll make it third and one. Pitches back. Tackled for a loss. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is make it a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Wake Forest is up by a touchdown. Tackle at about the 31. So the halfback loses about two on the run. It's third and nine. Ball on the 31-yard line. He's under some heat. Fires incomplete. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Kobe is back to receive. Covey fields it at the 27, and he's taken down at the 37-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. They bring him down in the backfield. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Green, back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Wake Forest is a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're, they're going to pull off an upset today. Wake Forest up seven points. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. He's at the 40. 
There he goes. To the 20. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at the 14. Play and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Tackle made right around the four yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second and goal. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's taken down at the four-yard line. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Touchdown, Utes. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 16-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. We're even at seven in this one. Utah is lining up to kick this one off. Green from the four, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Gidry with the tackle at the 28-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And they make the stop at the 27. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Kobe, the return man. And he's tackled at the 40. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often does have the ability to make guys miss. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Runs it, and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. It's second and 10. Ball on their own 40. Throws it in a hurry, and he's taken down around the 49-yard line. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. After a decent pickup. From the 44-yard line. 
Second down. Gets it out to him again. He's into the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26. From the 26 yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Hey, check right for the six. Check right for the six. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Going over the middle, intercepted. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the nine. And he makes it out to about the 11 yard line. Game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll knock him down for a loss. From their own seven yard line. Third down. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Kobe waiting the return. Covey fields it at the 50. Tackle made at the 36. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 32. They'll run it. And he's stopped behind the line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. quickly and he's got his man and he shoved out of bounds at the 22 yard line from the 22 yard line first down brought down after a nice run up the middle This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were back into their own red zone last time. Nice run, and he's brought down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Here he goes. Breaks one and scores. Here 
He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And the point after is no good. Utah to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Rose right intercepted. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. He tried to force that one in there. Yep, and the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33. Utah up six. Brought down around the 31-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. There he goes. And he's level at the 25-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Throws it to the outside. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. The ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. He fights forward to about the 13. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. at the 11. Moss gains about two yards on the run. But those are the kind of hits that'll take some miles off a ball carrier. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. There was some movement on the line. Ball start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. The Cavalry's coming. Fires quickly. Touchdown! These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He 
He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. So the scramble goes for nine yards. That brings up second and one. Five wide. They bring the quarterback down. That's the seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's tackled at about the 31. Johnson makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Covey back deep to return. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. The Utes took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out the different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Decides to slide. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. He's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a three yards on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. The Utes are going to call their second timeout. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Third down again. That brings us third and ten. He fights forward to about the nineteen. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Uh -huh. 
Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. They bring him down. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. We've played a half. Utah in front, 20-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We have a two-score game at the break. No surprise so far in terms of what the scoreboard says, but maybe a little surprising for some of the players on this team who, who sort of relished in that underdog role and said, we're going to bring this team to their knees. If you want to talk like that, you got to walk that aisle, baby. you got to walk that aisle. Uh, you better back it up. And right now, they're the team that's been brought to their knees, and they better stand up a lot because it's been, it's been a bad first half, especially when you're that confident. And when you start chirping a little bit, I, I think that you put the other team on notice, the team that's favored. Usually, usually you like to keep that bottle up inside, but... They did the chirping, but right now, their game's got to step it up big time if they want to try and pull this upset because they've dug themselves a pretty good hole. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Number 18, deep to return. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at about the 41. There was great blocking up front there, and that turned into a pretty good return. You know, the kick coverage looked very slow in getting downfield, and that really gave this young man an opportunity to make a play. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 48. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires it out. He's at the 40, and he's taken down right around the 40. He's got another one, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. And they got him for a loss. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got it and brought down immediately. That's good for a game of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Somebody jumped early down there. 
all-star offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 46. Unselfish play by the quarterback as the option gives them a nine-yard gain. Brought down at the 48-yard line. goes down quickly. Throws incomplete. Broken up. So we're looking at another third down here. He's got the corner. Broke away from one. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Number 86 was the intended receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. Catches it, and that's all. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at the 23. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs them to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Good outside run there. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Big play, and it's first and goal. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the six. That's good for a gain of four yards. That brings up second and goal. Here's the call from the referee. Delayed game, offense. Possibly some miscommunication there, and they can't get the playoff, and it'll cost them a few. From the 11-yard line, second down. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. And this is the 14th play of the drive. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They lose four there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage.
They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and he's got it. Wake Forest to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29. We're about set to start things up again. He's going to try and scramble. Missed tackle. He's tackled at the 31. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Caught and he's out of bounds. That's a loss. That is a loss of three yards. That makes it third and 11. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it fourth and inches. Green is back awaiting the punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 24. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. That's a great tackle at the 30. Good for a game of six yards. Fourth down. Covey, the return man. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Just the middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty.
and they get the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's taken down at the 50-yard line. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. That's three down and one to go. The Utes with a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Slings it out and it gets tipped. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. They make the stop right around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. And he tackles him hard at the 38. Makes the catch and look out. Out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Nice run there. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Covey is back to receive. He drops it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 35. Throws a strike over the middle. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it third and three. Three down, three down. Hey, check 
Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 47-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. He's on the run. Tackled after a decent pickup. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Number 23 brings him down at the 31 yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 41 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And they hit him in the backfield. It's the ninth play of the drive. Going deep, lays it out there. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Utah lines up for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle at the 32. The Utes have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. He gets rid of this one. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. Got the corner. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Throws a bullet. It's complete. He's out of bounds around the 28-yard line. It's very disappointing for this team to be down by over three possessions. But at the same time, I just think right now they're showing a lot of character and playing for pride and continuing to play until the final whistle blows. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. It's second and 10. Ball on the 28. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. Third down. He throws right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Looks like they've decided to go for it here.
Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Clearly, there was a breakdown in the blocking scheme, and when that happens, it's so much tougher to make a good throw. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's good for game three yards. That'll make it second, second and seven. seven. Ball on the 40-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Nice run up the middle. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. Tackle at midfield. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it second and eight. From midfield, second down. Moss will run it again. He's tackled in the open field. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's tackled right around the 46 yard line. That's a gain of two on the Fourth down. should do it. Our final tally in this one. 27 to 10. Utes. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.